Welcome again to another video of PC Behaven Tech Labs. In this video I will show you my process uh, in reverse engineering this wonderful LCD and uh, what I have done so far is I have connected this 16F1937 peak to control the LCD and I have managed to upload and display some patterns because uh, this LCD requires a great amount of uh, a big amount of memory to operate and I will explain you afterwards, afterwards how this works finally and I'm sure now that I know exactly what I have to upload to work. So, here is the firmware for the PIC. When it's ready, I will upload everything to my website. And uh, let's take a look how this works. Okay, so, it, it works uh, as follows. Imagine that this is one scan line. This is one scan line, which every time is shifted by one bit from right to left, like this. There are total 220 scan lines like this, because the LCD is 220 by 300 and, uh, and sorry, it's 240 by. 320 so there are here three, uh, 240 scan lines like this so the process is as follows first you have to draw the, a scan line one scan line and you have to upload the bits for every scan line and there are total 340 bits but uh, as I told you in the previous video, the data are streamed in packets of 4 bits every time. So, the, the, the PIC has to send 80 packets of 4 bits and this makes a total of 320 bits. So, first, you upload the bits to the scan line to the first scan line and you display the scan line at the bottom then you scroll the scan line one position and you upload the new bits and then you scroll the scan line one position more and you upload the new bits and then uh, you scroll the scan line one position you upload the new bits scroll upload, scroll, upload, scroll, upload and this is done for all these bits so uh, it's difficult to make something with just a simple pick because you need quite a, quite a few memory for this and actually if you see, if you notice there are some tremblings in the image and that is because this peak runs at 16 megahertz with internal oscillator and uh, this is not enough I mean if you if you look at the firmware you will see that during the, uh, the, the scrolling and the upload there is nothing uh, between actually I have this oscilloscope here and you can see that the scan lines are uploaded with a frequency of 10 kilohertz so uh, once every 100 microseconds a new scan line is uh, uploaded and uh, I change the oscilloscope to show the data streaming and you see that the data are streamed in a frequency of about 
800 kilohertz. So this is quite fast, but it's not fast enough because you can see some trembling. And uh, I suppose that I need to run this peak with an external oscillator with uh, crystal at uh, 32 megahertz, and that will solve this problem. But it will not solve the problem with the memory. So I searched my my bin, and I found this. Um, chip I, I bought it many years ago from microchip direct and this is 25AA256 chip which is actually a, a memory extension for the PIC and this has 256 uh, kilobits of memory. So I did some uh, uh, calculations and found out that this is fairly enough for my project and uh, I will go on, I will attach the memory peak chip to the peak and I will upload the first images. Until then, thank you for watching this video and don't forget to visit my website for more interesting projects.